Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're doing a two-parter. It is a Wednesday, and it is a it's sibling rivalry, sibling watchery, actually. I know this this is throwing precedent and having two watch reads one week like we're being bad girls. So let's let's talk about the merger. So the two groups of girls combine. Not the survivor to, reference. Bob making survivor references. Not even realizing he's, he's I, making survivor I references. Was, I was making a joke about mergers because of like uh, like uh, what's that company? The, no, the, like mm. when companies join join companies. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, is sixteen too many? I was thinking so, but if there are no people staying and blah, 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 I think it'll be fine. They meet each other out of drag, which is very anticlimactic. I want to meet, I want to meet the girls. I would, I would have wanted to meet each other in drag, you know? Why? Why does it matter? Because you, I don't know, seeing each other's entrance looks is exciting versus being like, oh, just meeting someone out of drag. I would, I would rather see them in drag. I like it that way because then Monet's you can't like, make... why even do, Monet's like, why even do drag on the show at this point? <laughs> Because you can't make, because then you can't judge them, right? Like, so that way you're, like, teach treating everyone equally. Like, because you, when you see girls coming in and their interest looks, you're judging. You're like, oh, this bitch is going home first. Like, when you see people in drag, you make snap judgments about which, how you think they're going to perform. And sometimes you, you underestimate people. So I like not having anything to judge them by. Are you cold? Me? Yes. No, it's like, like if it's temporary cold in my house. Your house like, to wear a sweater that is crazy to me. Crazy. <laughs> well, I also have a sweater on and like booty shorts. I'm more so wearing the sweater because it's cute on camera, not because I'm like cold. Can I? You know how people have icks. You know my ick for you. The way you <laughs> interact with your hats. I don't know why it drives me crazy when you scratch your hats. When you tug your hat, <laughs> but it's not moving. Like you haven't adjusted anything. Like you do like this. But nothing's nothing shifted when you when you scratch the the bill of your hat. That shit sends me. That sends me. Sends me, Mona. Okay. Do you know what my ick for you is? What? One of my icks for you is how you cannot let me be. One of my okay. icks for you is that you, you, bitch, just... you can't let me be. <laughs> you, this this is how hila- this is a rich. This is wealthy coming from you, of all people. You literally laugh at me for existing. I will just be sitting there, minding my... You will just start laughing at my pure existence. Anything I do, you'll be like, Bob, it is so... You, anything I do, you will just c- cackle at my existence. And you talking about, I can't... You, this hilarious. <laughs> Guess who's hilarious. on Hilarious. Watchery, not a survivor. I mean, survivor. Well, they be like, oh, my head itches. Here go, Monet. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's better. Okay, you act like you can't feel. I can feel the sensation through my head, but no, my, but you my, scratch my, the bill. You scratch the bill. I did not scratch the bill. I do. You've this. done it. We've all seen you scratch the bill in the hat. <laughs> I'm not. That's not true. Okay, this is watchery, not advisory. Continuing on, so the girls have all met each other, and um, they know they're doing the talent show, and they have to work each other on choreographing, choreographing the talent show, and they're like. Someone, I forget who says it. They're like, you know, you do your side. We'll, y'all do yours and we'll do ours. And they're like, that's not going to work. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Well, I mean, it, well, I would have been mad if I was the first group and we had to like, we, bitch, we just spent all the time coming up with choreography. Now there's some new hoes. We got to fucking figure out. I, that would annoy me, poisonally. <laughs> For me, poisonally, that would annoy the shit out of me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But um, they eventually figured it out. And I'm sure, c- considering my experience with drag race, I'm sure someone came in to help them finish this up. I don't think these girls completely made that opening by themselves. Or maybe they did. So I, I just don't think that will happen. You know, I mean, who knows? Who knows? You never know. I mean, queens, queens do shows without people helping them around the world all the time. This is true, but not, but not in eight hours and not um, with 16 people that you've never met before and not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, my my um, head was at you. Anyway... So they go back to the workroom and, and everyone's like talking about the, the talent shows and stuff like that. And Lux, ha- Lux brings up a valid point to me. She said, she said, you know, Irene is going to make a glass of ice water. And she's like, because of the success of Willow's number, I think we're going to see a lot of people trying to out, out obscure the next person. And, cause, and I'm like, because if Willow Pill did not do that number, do we think Irene would have tried to make ice water? I don't think so. I thought she was. I. Uh, I thought it was like when what's the name? Oh, when I thought it was like when um when uh when cornbread said she's gonna uh which said she gonna eat do a hot dog eating contest. Which by the way, which would have been sickening if she could have eaten like twenty hot dogs. That'd been crazy. But I was just like, why? 
that th- this glass of water might be might go down in history as the worst talent show in the history of drag. This might be this honestly. It's, it's between this and um and Jasmine Masters. Um, y'all don't y'all smell <laughs> that? It smell like shit. It really smell like shit. Yeah, I think you know what. But here's it could have been funny, right? Like I think if Nicole Byer, but again, she is a stand-up world world comedian. If Nicole Byer did a number making ice water, I think that would have been funny. Like I'm sure Nicole Byer could make that funny. I just don't think it's in Irene's wheelhouse or in her bag to do that. I've said this before. I said I can see you making a glass of ice water funny. I can see that. I could, but also, but I don't think I could. I would want to do it in a minute. Do not do stand-up comedy with a minute of time. Do you can be funny doing something else, but I would not personally try to do stand-up with one minute. What are you gonna get out there and say? Bianca the Real did it. No, she did not. They did a stand-up challenge. They all did stand-up. They oh had, yeah, yeah, it was stand-up challenge. Yeah, it was a minute. Had, yeah, you're right. They all right. had a full set. Five one minute. Minutes, yeah. One minute is not enough time to do stand-up, in my opinion, in my professional opinion. <laughs> Um, yeah, but then also, um, so th- now now that the groups are like co mingling, and everyone's like ruminating. I kind of wish one of the first groups had been like, you know, we met Ariana Grande, <laughs> and they start measuring and they start measuring wigs again. This fucking wig. I'm if the, if if it doesn't come out, if they don't bust out a tape measure before the end of the, this is uh, uh Stanislav Stanis, Stanislavski's gun. Oh uh, no, Chekhov's no, no. gun. Chekhov's this, gun. This is Chekhov's gun. They have to measure this wig. They have to Irene measure this gone, wig. Irene's gone, though. Irene's gone. So the person who wanted to measure it is gone. I know. I know. But I'm obsessed with this wig. This wig is the 16th, the 17th queen of the season. This, 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 this is like um, Candy Muse being like, oh, yeah. I had um, a ball gown with a train from here to Modesto, honey. And I just, I just, I just, I, I was like, yeah, but show us the dress. Show us this gown that, that, <laughs> that allegedly did. Have you ever confronted uh, Candy about this dress? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. But I want to see from the Bronx, the boogie down, honey. Don't you ever come for her? First honey. of all, anyone from New York knows that Brooklyn will wash the Bronx. Brooklyn will wash the Bronx so easily, my So I don't. You, you Cardi think B, from the Bronx? Cardi B would have to me. Cardi B would like a word with you. Oh yeah, I was watching Biggie my kids, Smalls, Mamiana. <laughs> Biggie Smalls, Diddy, Mace. We all have a word with Cardi B. What? And you know who the toughest one would have a word with you? Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> from the Bronx, six train. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still kicking a kicking a kick a block. Yeah, now who's badass? Anyway, yeah, you got, now you scared. You scared because because J Lo about to come whoop that ass. Now yeah. you scared, bitch. Wait, listen, when when J Lo can handle um uh the bridge of I will always love you, then she can come to the fight. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, she's a patron <laughs> jennifer lopez is a patron okay before we get into the talent show also they are the queen the twins are struggling to like finish their makeup like they Girl. cannot get it done <laughs> them probably them probably one of those girls that take like four and five hours to get ready you just sound so caribbean and them, Andre- them probably <laughs> them probably one them go- sorry go ahead <laughs> no, I do it. I guess, uh, they take they seem like because again they only get ready at home they never are like rushing to do anything it's not like they had it's not like they have a gig at 11 o'clock and they need to leave the house bitch they are just in their house i guess when we finish we'll like film the tiktok like they, they've probably never been under the time constraints to get ready yeah it was very i was like these girls ooh, they are, how, you, you're like what you said you're like less than an hour to get fully ready like like for 50 minutes yeah 45 50 minutes to get from like no makeup on to in but also i don't pad anymore i just course it so and are you like is this like like ass to grass like like you're really you're like pedal to the metal or are you just like pe- just doing your makeup no this is pedal to the metal if i'm like going going yeah, if, if i'm going going i can get my make i can get i can get i can get in full full fantasy drag in like an hour and 20 minutes if, if i am just pedal to the metal but if i can like listen to my podcast and like call people and like cackle then i would like i like two two hours got it yeah but, but um, also Mo- monet will wait to the last minute monet will wait to the last minute <laughs> monet will be walking around backstage in her underwear eat eating hummus and chips 
<laughs> and then and then like they're like 30 minutes show money will fucking go over there and be like <laughs> <laughs> they don't stress you out no because i hate i hate being ready so early because i always like to pee like at the last minute so i hate like putting my my fucking gaff on but and you stuff can do like your like, makeup like, and like work around with you because also monet will wear her makeup for the next five days like everyone else <laughs> do their makeup, every, everyone else at the, at the venue their face do a shout monet will work up the next morning monet's like i just like to take my time <laughs> 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 let's talk about this this talent show the talent show well, first of all let's talk about um the judges looks ross bitch ross heard y'all talking shit about him and ross said baby i'm changing it up this season ross has on his like blouse with his pussy bow and his boots ross looks so cute ross does, i'm glad he's not wearing those sequin tracksuits or sequin <laughs> members on jackets it was it was it was it was not it didn't even look cute the first time. No shade, Ross. <laughs> oh my god. No damn. shade. If it was like one time, like this is cute. But anyway, um, everyone else, Michelle is really aging like a fucking Sauvignon Blanc. It is insane. She looks great. Michelle looks really good. And this white, she better work. And Ross looks good too. And I mean, Ariana looks nice. I mean, it's kind of it's like a Madonna nod or something. Oh, with the with the with the cone bra, maybe. With a with a ponytail, I mean the ponytail always, but ponytail and a con bra, and a cone yeah. bra. If it's like a cum bra, I was like, oh my god! Oh, no, the bra's filled with cum. The cones are filled with cum. Oh, so you can yeah. just and you just snap the, the nipples off and get a little taste. Does that really gonna have a boob job? Does she have? Does she, or does she have like tiny little titties? Does she get a boob job? I think she has. I think she has tiny titties. Ariana is pretty. It's very. I think little um, titties are titties. sexy. Little titties are very. I sexy. think so too. Tiny little titties. You know, I said if I got. I said if I got breast implants, I want a, a, a uh, like a B cup, but I want like a small, like I want like a tight, like full, like perky B. I think a perky B would be nice. Yeah, I'd be like little titties be sexy. I'd be like not little titties, them little titties. Um, but something about saying little titties feels not doesn't feel nice. If you're in the if you're in the comment and you have if you're in the the chat and you have little titties, do you like if someone's like I love your little titties, or is it just they can appreciate them but they cannot talk about how little they are? I think little titties yeah. are sexy, personally. Um, so I love my little titties. There we go. Um, all right, so so there were first of all there were a lot of original songs. How do you feel about the original song journey on RuPaul's Drag Race? You know, I I think they're fine. I think people just want to really showcase like how fierce they are, and they're like, you know what? I can't. I don't want to use some 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 copyrighted song that they are presenting to me, which I think is what um. Marsha probably did. They probably that was a song. Think, that... I don't think that I, I really have a hard time believing or believing that that production presented the songs to them because these songs are very specific. Like I, I don't think that Robin was given the op. They were like lip sync to this to the man's part of this song. I think these queens are doing songs from their repertoire. Repertoire. That's what I think. When you do the talent show, you can like you you can like request a song, but they also have a bunch of songs of like that you can choose from that they have or you can say or you could or, or bob you want to do bust on tatiana by blueface you're like hey i want to do this song do we have the is is it part of your catalog can i use it under under mtv and mtv probably has a lot of songs you can use i would yeah. imagine and then they can say yes or no you know that'd be shocked if someone else had like some b-side and fucking aura got to do fucking black pink kill this love which is a massive massive song we're going to talk about that, but let's start first with our, the first up was Malaysia. So what do you think about her look? I mean, this, this look is, this, this is a pretty standard performance look. Yeah, I think that, I think that Malaysia looks nice. I think that um, it, the colors are nice. It fits her body well. And I actually like the words in her song. I like, I, 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 I thought, she, I thought this was a, this was a strong talent show. Can you pause it on her too, Jacob? I, you know, I don't particularly remember any of the like none of the lyrics really like jumped out at me from any of the songs and i think there might have been one lyric that sugar said that i thought was kind of interesting i was like oh that might be interesting um but i don't know it, the thing to me is like y'all aren't like y'all like are y'all rappers you know what i mean like are y'all yeah. rappers but they don't sing so it's like how can i do my own original song when i don't sing or i don't or i don't rap but, but what, no one's making you do the original song. Also, is she's giving Tina Burner uh, the, these first two looks. 
between this, she's is giving Tina Burner. But the red, the, the red, the yellow, and the orange and the white is giving Tuna Burger, honey. You're a box. We know. We know. We know. Yeah. So I thought. Um. So I thought that she did a she had a strong start. Yeah, she she looked pretty good. And who was our spice? So the, okay, this casket. <laughs> I, really I did like her. that. She woke up and she was like, "I'm bored," because the the joke is that she's dead. I love that RuPaul just goes. Uh, I love how the casket just brings it all together because it really did, it didn't make a ton of sense. But also, when you think back about it, Spice and Sugar and Spice did the same number. Yeah, it was very similar. But that's but that's also their thing, which honestly that, that makes sense. I'm not mad at them at all. Obviously, they obviously they they go to they go to well together. When I was in the club, I mean they they were these numbers were fine. Everyone was going crazy. I was like, they're they're fine. These numbers are like fine everyone's yeah. going cr- crazy and i was like i really think they're doing like they're decently fine which shows because they were wait were they were they safe yeah they were both safe yeah they, 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 they were i think they were, they were night they were very middle of the road and i don't think the performance was 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 bad at all there just there just wasn't a whole lot besides her like kind of making those goofy faces and bouncing around but I think how they were setting him up, you thought because they were like late getting ready, they were like bumbling a mess and the, the episode focused on them a lot. I think we thought they were going to be bad. So when they had like a little bit of levity and there was a little bit of comedy in there, you were, you were like, oh, wow, that wasn't bad. Good for them. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Then- um, up next. Jacob, what was that noise? Okay, oh, Lux Noir London's look is at, this is one of my favorite. This might be my favorite look from the performances. This look so is which is so weird because someone else wore an, a rhinestone cast like this on UK, but it wasn't giving. And they were like, "Bitch, was rhinestones don't mix." I can't remember who it was. They, it was the, the whole point was someone was like, "Just because something's covered in rhinestones doesn't mean that it looks great." But this something about this look is absolutely. It was Crystal Versace. Crystal Versace wore a completely rhinestone suit. But for some reason, it wasn't given. Crystal Versace? Who the yeah, she Christopher won Versace? season three. Oh! She- Crystal Versace, yes. Yes, yes. But, but this one is giving. And also, uh, her padding looks really good. Um, her, yeah. The I shoes. The, she the outfit was through the shoes. She, like, she, she put the shoes in the fabric. It wasn't like just slapping a crystal pump. Because what Crystal did, she had a fully stone outfit like this on. But she just had like a she like stoned the shoe and put it on. This shoe is covered in this fabric as well, so it looks like one thing. So it just it it ups the look up immediately. Also, this waistband breaks up the uh, the top and the bottom a little bit. Yeah, this looks so good. And, and her performance was also good. Her performance was good, was good as well. Her words were good too. Her words were good too. I like the again lyric. nothing stuck out to me, but none of the none of the lyrics. But also, the, it was it was loud and there was a lot going on. There was like there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. You know, yeah, yeah, but she was um, good. I like, I like this hair. This kind of looks like a look you did one time. That look you did in Vegas with the, uh, that that bodice, and you wore that almost that exact same color hair. I did a gig in Vegas. Maybe I'm making this up. You had like a, you had this little mermaid looking hair, and oh, you were in like the a, blue. I do. You're right. Yes, Domino made that for me. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You're right. You know, you're right. Right. So, Mistress Isabel Brooks has this like boxing thing. I thought she was gonna be bad, and she was so good. I thought she was really good too. I thought she was good. I really like Mistress. She's like my favorite queen so far. I love her. I love how she end. She she did that running split with the punch at the end of the thing. I thought I really loved her. You yeah, know, she was really great. Um, her number was great. Uh, did you recognize that voice? Did you recognize that voice? Bitch, I literally wrote Mistress X Joella Puss, girl. <laughs> I said Joella, Joella Puss. Puss, honey. <laughs> listen to me, darling. The big girls are going to win one more time for you all. Yeah. Joella Puss has been on more seasons of Drag Race than Shangela. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's been on more seasons of Drag Race than Juju B. And that is just true at this point. Yeah. You, you know, after this, I mean, we're going to get there. But I think Mistress might be a front runner. I think that Mistress... I really like Mitch. Anyway, continuing on. Ooh, girl. Lucille it's giving Monet Leduca. Exchange All Stars 4. People are hating. Luc- Lucille LaDuca. First of all, her outfit looks really great. She kind of looks like she kind of looks like the older sister from um from uh, Stephanie Shaw. <laughs> she, she's giving she's giving Stephanie's aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie's mama. Bitch, this is Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, she did not sound great. She did not sound great. It was not yeah, good. It was it wasn't great and um and she clearly uh felt she knew that and she did not make any excuse. She was like I just I had a she didn't say I had a bad day, but she was like this is what I do and and I was not good and I'm disappointed. And I was like but, yeah, yikes. Lucy Lucy came out on stage and took took a fucking Ladookie on the stage, okay? Yeah. Lucille did not had done that. Sorry, <laughs> Lucille. Lucille. Um, all right, let's let, who who is our our next uh performer? So up next Marsha, we have Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. This was a great number. A great number. Really good. The technical dancing, because I was like, oh, this bitch is like a dancer. When she did, what, what was it? What those uh, those <coughs> those three Shanae's in in a row? I said, "Oh, she is dancing." You know, you jump and you and, you, and your feet do this. Click. You know what I'm talking about when your feet go in the air. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It yes. was. It was. It was funny, and it was technically good. And the, I mean, the look so with the look, good. the look made sense. You know, it it all made yeah. sense. I, I do think that she's gonna have to figure out some looks because, like, Marsha is Marsha is 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 giving bland a little bit. But I think yeah. it's, it's like is is her brand bland? No, it, I mean the the character Marsha Brady is a pretty Wonder Bread character, but bitch, but then you're her in drag. whole thing is based off of Marsha Brady, and she the whole thing is based off of like it, it, it's it's a little for drag. It's a little yeah. bland. Yeah, she needs to take the Marsha reference and drag it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, uh Robin up next you have Mar- Robin Fierce. I feel like Robin Fierce kind of just did like a standard number, basically, like 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 bitch. it was like. She just went to a uh, like she's it's like she went to the club and said, uh, do you have they said what's your number? She just said, Do you have Spotify? <laughs> <laughs> she played that number. Robin has done this number. And she she would walk in the club at like eleven o'clock for the second show and they just plug her in and do her number. Like I was like, Robin, come on. Even the set dressing, just Robin yeah. on stage. It feels like everyone else is like, Can I get a bed? Can I get a can I get can you make me a, a corner of a boxing ring? Can you can yeah, you uh, come on, baby. Can, you, I, can you bring me a casket? And Robin was like, Baby, just spell my name. And also make <laughs> make it small. I mean, like like a foot off the ground, maybe. Yeah, I was not impressed. I was really, I wanted Robin to really give me a little, a bit more. I wanted more. Yeah, I, 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 uh, 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 I just felt bad for it. It, it. it was not, it was really not the vibe. Not, not, but, but it also was, it wasn't terrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, lucky for her, someone else made ice water later on. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Lucky for her, someone came out and fucking made a glass of ice. Well, could you imagine rehearsing the ice water number at home? Did she rehearse it for a friend? We'll get there. We will get there. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Let's so, go up next to. So okay, so Irene. Irene was next, making this fucking did, ice water. She looks I mean, good. Go to the end of the video. She's probably dead last, or probably the first one if they do it the other way around. Irene was. It yeah. was n- terrible. I felt so uncomfortable watching it yeah it was not good and again i think there probably is a way to make that funny if you are like you know i i could i would watch nicole Byer make water and probably but not in a minute not in a Maybe. minute i'm Let's telling you Monet. Nicole. let me call nicole i mean Monet, we know a lot of comedians i'm telling you as a professional comedian who's been doing it for a long time a minute is not this is not the time to do this in a minute do, I it's don't know. Not the I time. think I could, I, I could watch Mateo Lane make water a minute. I'll probably laugh. I love you act like I'm also not a comedian who's been doing it for literally 14, 15 years. Okay, I'll, and I said, and I and I'll, I said I could watch you make water and laugh in a minute. And, I did and say I that. I bet a dollar if you called Mateo and was like, "Would you do this?" He'd be like, "No, don't do this. It's not a good idea. Do not try to do make a I glass disagree. of water in a minute." Let me see if I can try to FaceTime audio. Hold on one second. <laughs> Because Mateo always calling calling us on his on his little podcast. We 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 go cash in a favor right now for, for the siblings. You see how Monet doesn't respect my opinion. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my this god, is, I can respect your opinion and get other ones too. This Bob is ridiculous. <laughs> this is so good. Calling on an iPad is the hood of shit. <laughs> you be someone taking a picture on an iPad? You be like, bitch, shut your old ass up. You like somebody's auntie. Take a picture with the iPad. Hey, baby, smile. <laughs> you look like wow, a two middle material. schooler. <laughs> or what? I'm, I'm, I'm using my mom's phone to call you. 
<laughs> Mateo, damn. Yikes, Mateo said, Mateo said, never answer a call for you, honey. Well, Mateo did not answer the phone. Shade. Anyway. Now, I'm telling you right now, I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. We, we, we argued about it, but you, 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 to make a joke, you have to have a premise. You have to have a premise, unless you're doing one-liners, unless the whole thing is about one-liners, unless you're just filling up your entire uh, piece with one-liners. Um, to do something like this, you have to be able to set up a premise. And a minute just kind of isn't enough time to make a premise for a joke to have a payoff in the end, in my opinion. And 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 just don't do it. Like, if you're like, I'm either going to try, try my best to make making a glass of water funny in a minute or just do something else. Bitch, just do something else. Well, somebody told else. it was funny and then she could do it and she failed. I mean, if she would have poured the, if she would have been like, it's good for the, if she'd have been like, I'm going to make a glass of water and these girls could use it for their wigs, maybe something like that. Or, you know, or she would have been like, I, I, I don't know. There, there, it, it, it's not, a, I, I would say this. I would not spend my time trying to make this number better. I would just throw the baby out with the bath water. <laughs> I think, you know what? I'm, at my next show, I'm going to make, I'm going to do a minute long ice water making number. You promise. At my next show that I do like uh, do drag numbers, yes. You promise. Mm-hmm. See, you're a lying ass. We 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 can get books. <laughs> we can get books. Easy. <laughs> All right. Up next we have Anitra. Anitra just ate. <laughs> Anitra ate. She is so athletic. So bitch. Those duck stomps, this bitch was not duck walking. She was duck walking and her knees were hitting the back of her head. I was like, how is that? She was like. She's in, she's insanely athletic. Her look is great. She also is the one who sold all her own stuff. And, 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 and also it kept elevating. Like she did the duck walk and then she stood up and she jumped and like kicked in the air and then landed in the duck walk. She, it was funny spelling her, even like funny in a way that was kind of like, Anitra, A N E T R A. That's six letters and three vowels. That was very funny. And then this bitch just starts like walk that duck. She fucking karate chops a board. I know karate chop isn't a thing, but she hits the board. And then she does that fucking roundhouse kick. This it was I know. wild. She did a really good job. I liked her. I like I, I liked Anitra. Yeah, Alexa, that was... not you. <sighs> oh my god, this is how you talk to your oh, when, when uh, Alexa. I, I'm cool with you. Doing, doing, doing the robot takeover, bitch, you wouldn't be the first Alexa. one to go. You have do, Google. Your whole house is Google everything. Doing the robot takeover, you're going to be the first one to go. I'm cool <laughs> with you, Alexa. Just so y'all know, I'm cool. I like you, Alexa. So, I, yeah, I, th I thought Anisha did a good job. She looked good, and her talent was fun. I really enjoyed her. I really liked her a lot. So, Sugar, it, I, I feel bad for the queen, for between Sugar and Spice, the one who comes second will always be like, oh, we saw this already. Cause sugar, when sugar, when I was like, oh, you let you, you start laying down, and then you wake up, and then you do like a fast rap song. Yeah, why did it? And, and you again, make a lot of weird, and you make like a lot of weird faces. The whole thing is like your twin thing. Like, why even what's get, get to the runway looks? Their, their runway looks was the same silhouette. Why not try your best? It was the same presenting? idea. They both did Disney princess. It wasn't I the know. same silhouette. It was the same. But also, I, I get it. It's the it's the idea. The brand is to sell themselves together. I get it. I yeah, there's, there's nothing but... wrong, and and I I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But as a viewer, someone watching Drag Race, I'm mean, like I always feel bad for the second one because it's always going to be, it's always going to be like oh I saw this already. It's also the way that you're not to, the way to not win Drag Race. Now this will probably be great for their career. They can they're they're selling themselves as this duo for the rest of their lives and they're twins. They want that, but it's not the way to win Drag Race. Which that may not be their goal. Their goal is probably to put their brand as twins on the world stage, which they're doing, and it's going to be great for them, but you're not going to win Drag Race that way. I give Mitch, bitch, Mitch, Dusty Ray did dots for one episode of Michelle Visage. I said, I've seen it. I want to see something else. Move on. Give me something else. Bitch, it's, their days are numbered. Michelle also, is coming with a vengeance. Also, everyone doesn't have the budget to bring both of y'all, honey. Right. Everyone doesn't have or the budget to bring both of y'all. the budget for one, for, for, for the price of one, you know? <laughs> I mean, well, they used to perform in their bedroom, so I think they're doing fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so up next, we have uh, Princess Poppy, who's doing this like uh, it's kind of like a "and I'm Junie" style. Loved it. Number. It was very funny. Very, very so funny. So funny. Which I was not expecting her. from her. I don't love her dress, but I love this puppet thing now. Yeah, the dress I, is kind of hideous. Yeah, but even her, even her. Oh, we'll get, we'll get to her fucking runway. But yeah, her the talent wig, was very good. The, the wig is kind of. I don't like her look. But this talent was very, very good. Bitch, very, the face very good. is kind of weird. <laughs> Damn. 
money. We just really ate this bitch to pieces. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, but but I really love the the number. It was really really clever. Selena S. Titties. That's, that's what Selena S. Titties is. Um, I like Selena's number. I thought her lyrics was good. I thought her laughing was good. I love that she did a reveal. I thought I thought that Selena looked great, and I liked her overall number. I really did. I enjoyed it. I agree. I thought she looked good, too. Uh, I don't understand her. Is this supposed to be a nude illusion? Because if so, so, the nude illusion is not nuding. I got to say that. <laughs> um, and I would have rather have just seen, like, the top covered up. But um, yeah, it was uh, the, but the number was good though. I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't love the look. Yeah, let's move on to um, Amethyst. Yeah, I didn't get. I mean, I get what she was trying to do, and I agree with the judges. Her the baby reveal came way too early. If you reveal you're doing all this stuff, the why, blah blah blah, and the and the baby was the punchline at the end, it would have made the number better. But she clearly did not, or whoever had helped her with this number did not help her space it out and pace it properly. Yeah, it was just too soon. Like, I, I can see this. I can see that someone, this, so this feels like someone's like, I have a funny idea for a number, but then she didn't really think the rest of it through. She's like, isn't it be funny if I did, I can't find my baby, but then I have a baby on my back and I can't find the baby. But then also you got to put beats in. You got, know, you got, you got you to you walk out with, with your, maybe if you have a really big, long wig and your hair is covering the entire baby over, over your back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you turn around and then maybe like, 30 seconds in you move your hair to the side to find the baby and the baby's there but the baby has like it's like an upset looking sad baby and the baby <laughs> the baby's like you know some sort of like a distressed looking baby that could be really funny and then if she just like pulled the wine out later maybe if the wine got on the baby somehow maybe if the baby fell off her back maybe the baby fell off her back as she was going to look you know what i mean and then she walked on the baby <clears throat> she could have really really built this yeah. up and, and the look is i really hate this look like why that look i hated it why hated it. what did it add to the to the she's trying to be a mom i get it but there are other moms you could have evoked and, mo and monet moms look like shit as you know <laughs> she wants like a mom and moms notoriously look like shit all the time i don't know like, i don't know if what if you want to be the camping mom, bitch, get you those those fucking camping boots with heels on them. And I know this bitch don't got big monster feet like me and you. She got she got feet. Whoa, 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 me and you, me and you. Speak for yourself. It's giving petite. It's giving tiny Tim. You spelled humongous wrong. I think you say pronounced, but go ahead. Pronounced. Yeah. So she could have. There were ways to make it get give us the same. A hiking camping mom then not do it that way i can't believe it. my name was like ugly bitches like us whoa who the hell are you <laughs> who the hell are you talking about it was to do talk about. One, one day somebody should do that one day be like ugly bitches like us and someone be like whoa hey whoa 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 whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. all right let's go into uh, um aura terrible Mayori. terrible I don't, know, I don't know what the plan was here where's she from <laughs> nashville right i, I, thought, I, I thought is she friends with cameron michaels or is cameron michaels from nat I feel like I've met her before. Oh, I could see her and Cameron being I feel friends. Like we went on tour together. When we were on tour, I remember. I feel like a bunch of like buff guys came to Cameron at the meet and greet, and I feel like I need to stop because if it wasn't Aura Mayuri, it's going to be really problematic. Yes, Bob. Um, well, all, I'm going to stop right now. All muscle people are not the same. Um, but yeah. Anyway, this number was not good. It was giving awkward guy at the party trying to like dance and Shh. and think. And think they're impressing everybody at the club, and everybody's just sitting there like, and this is awesome. She did say she adds a little masculine swagger to all of her uh, performances. I, she said it, it was so cringy. It was so this hip hop dancing was so cringy. I was literally looking at me. Me and Colleen were so upset watching again this morning. Colleen had to leave. She wanted to go use the little box. The only thing I liked about it was the hair. I don't like the outfit. I don't like the shoes. I don't like the fact that she's wearing like <clears throat> like jogging pants. I was like, what is happening? Terrible. I hated it. I hated it. I was so cringy. If your New Year's goals are to manage your budget better and save money, you need Rocket Money. Say goodbye to last year's outdated, disorganized methods of managing your money and say hello to Rocket Money, the better way to hack your finances in 2023. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they have forgotten about. 
like that streaming service you bought to watch that one show, but then the mm-hmm. free trial was over and you never Oh my even God, used that was up. me on Peacock, Bob. That was me on Peacock. Now listen, Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones that you don't want. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. That's where they get you. They make it impossible Bitch. to cancel. I hate it. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving an average of up to $720 a year. Girl, that is like three, uh, um, what's the nice gym called? That's like Equinox. three, equi- that's like, th- no, that's like four Equinoxes, girl. I mean, 720 is, 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 a, is a used car. 720 is a lot what? of phone bill. 720 okay, is, is a, a couple of mil. A used car, girl. Okay, my car. first my first car was $500. <laughs> and how long did that last? Money, we did not grow up in the, uh, as as the the crown prince of St. Lucia. <laughs> anyway, listen, stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com/rivalry. That's rocketmoney.com/rivalry. Rivalry. What is it, Monet? Rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. Um, let's move on to Sasha Kobe. Um, I thought Sasha was fine. I wasn't like blown away. I was like, oh my God. I thought it was I, th- I thought it was fine. And like I she agree. did like she did the re- hair reveal. And I thought it was gonna be like I she really like leaned into this hair thing. I thought it was gonna be like this really cool thing, but it was fine. I agree. And, and I think that her outfit underneath could have been could have been cooler too. Yeah. And you all anyone knows me know, I love straight jacket drag baby i have a collection of straight jackets in my apartment when they seen them i have probably five straight jackets in my apartment i love me some straight jacket drag okay bob well, straight jacket straight jacket drag not a type of drag you mean you have a lot of straight jackets there's not this there's but not speak this for sub- yourself speak there for yourself. is not this subculture of straight jacket <laughs> bitch speak for yourself just because you don't just because you don't know anything about straight jacket drag me and Sasha, we're on the same page. Me and Sasha, Kobe, we're one. We're one in the kind, honey. Yeah, I could have been a Miss Continental if I wanted to, and I still might be. I gotta go pee. Hold on one second. And don't don't talk any shit about me when I'm gone. Y'all, this is what I had to deal with. This is what I. This is what I have to go through multiple times a week. Like I can't. I can't. I can't like straight jacket. I can't even say it. Straight jacket drag. Like I'm not trying to make his own subculture. I want some straight jacket drag. What? All right, we're back. <clears throat> Representing yeah, for the straight, you are, for the you straight jacket to, drag community. You need to be committed. You you now you're saying drag it. It's hard to say it. Straight jacket drag. Straight jacket drag. Mm, honey, I like my men like I like my jackets straight. <laughs> James is, Charles, but because you hate you hate straight guys. That was that was my James Charles impersonation. Um, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, you are so messy. Um, um, all right, so let's continue. The last uh, one, Jack's fucking own. That, I'm sorry, bananas. That, it was so that good. That was the best. It was the best talent show. Jack fucking ate that shit. Her energy coming out was so, like, it was explosive. And then she did this jump rope hair reveal that I did not see coming whatsoever. Same. This was very clever. It wasn't just, like, a showmanship of her athletic abilities. It was, like, uh, it was a showman of how clever she is, how, ta- how, how good, what her ideas are. This outfit is disgusting. Let me just, it's, I hate this. Disgusting? I, I hate this look. I what 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 did uh what did Nicki Minaj say about Heidi? I hate 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 your hair and makeup. Um, I I hate I do not like this look. But this fucking this number was so so smart. Everything about and the, the way she this is how Pacing. you pace a number. Mm-hmm. This is um tell tell um Amethyst that this is yeah. how you pace a number. It was so good. The way she revealed, I never, this is a reveal. I never would have saw this jump rope coming. And, and, and as we all know, it's about to happen. We were all gagging. And as she was doing it, we were all gagging. And then she unclipped it Clipped perfectly. It. 
oh. perfectly. And then the, the way she did the back, the way she would do the backflip and then land on her s- stomach was crazy. So fucking clean. Honestly, it is. It, in my opinion, top five t- um, perform- t- talent show performances in Drag Race history. I agree. It was this was so good. It was truly bananas, and I, 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 I was, I, I kept being shocked over and over again. The I kept being shocked. The entire time, it was really good. It was really good. I mean, I don't, I disagree. I don't think the outfit is disgusting. Like you have people like what fucking Amethyst wore and what Aur- Aura wore, and this is way better than those. So I don't think it's disgusting. I, I think it's know. fine. She- I mean, I, I, their their outfits are worse, but I mean, dressing like a minion is not the look. Like I would have rather have seen her do. <laughs> you she could have she could have worn anything else. She could have worn anything else. Anything else. <laughs> minion. <laughs> She's dressed like a minion. <laughs> um, let's go into their look, shall we? <laughs> okay, the look. This we are never we bitch we are never gonna be done with Drag Race. This is. How, how long? How many days have we been here recording this episode? Girl, it's been eighty four <laughs> years. Um, okay, first of all, uh, Irene Dubois. Um, I, I really, you know, from the tits up, I love this look. From the tits, from the waist down, it's just a pair of panties and a pair of boots. Agreed. Agreed. I agree with with everything you just said. From the tits up, it looks amazing. Even when she contoured her chest and had this thing on, it looks really good. But the the waist down, I'm like, eh, not for no. yeah. 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 Um. Let's move on to um Lux Noir, and I'm like, as have, soon as like, this bitch came seen out, this. Yes, as soon as she came out, because you were there when when Aquaria wore this wore this look. Oh wait, hold on. This is this is Mateo Lane calling me back. Hold on. Oh my God, this is hi absurd. Mateo Lane. You're on speaker. Oh, you're on the podcast. No Potato, you're on speaker. You're on the podcast. How are you doing? Oh, God. What argument am I settling? Okay, well, here's the thing. Okay, so one of the queens on this season, her talent number for, you, you get a, you get 60 seconds to win a number, and her number was she just wanted to make a glass of ice water and, like, make it funny, right? And make a she, glass of ice water? <laughs> yes, which was not a good idea. But I said, because she's not a comedian, I said, I could watch Mateo Lane make a glass of ice water for a minute, and I think it would be funny. Do you think you could do that successfully? Uh... I do, yeah. If I was at, you know what I would do is I would look at like Lucille Ball and see what she did, like her physicality. Like, you know, when she would like bake bread or something, or like the mm-hmm. way Benjamin. I would probably study that and try and find a way to make to make the ice water funny. It would, it would be a little hacky, but I think I could do it. I think you could too. Bob thinks that no one could ever do it ever. That's really, not Bob, what I said. Because, wait, can Bob Monet just right completely now? misrepresented <laughs> Bob, my idea on purpose. You. He can I, hear Monet you. just Bob, completely. First of all, that is such, first of all that is Bob just likes to argue because if it was the other way around, Monet, and you said that you know no one could make this funny, Bob would go, I could make it. Funny. Absolutely, no, he would. First of all, I Monet just funny. the way you Monet just completely funny, misrepresented up, what I said, and she knows she did it. Is it so gaslighty. You know, one person would say it's funny, and then he would screenshot that and print it and frame it and send it to you. <laughs> I agree, no. with you. The way Monet just the way Monet just completely. Le- right, the way Monet just completely back. misrepresented what I said is the sh- is you know that is the you that was you just completely <laughs> that was the most gaslighting shit you've ever done in your entire <laughs> life. Like, and, and, Bob, and Bob said no one should do it and they'll be they should be killed if they anyone if anyone <laughs> ever <laughs> with that I, I, I Monet would never guess you like are- you. You are so messy. You are so. And Monet knew that he couldn't hear me, which is why she was saying what she said. That's why Monet did that. Because she knew I couldn't say anything about it. Anyway. Uh, all right. Um, so, uh, Lil Mama. Um, London. Lux. Lux. Lux I don't like this name. Lux Noir London. <laughs> Lux Noir Bob. London. I just don't like saying it. It's just my, it's my opinion. I just don't like saying it. Lux. Lux. Because I feel like her name should be Lux, Lux London Noir. Not Lux Noir London. Lux London Noir feels like it rolls off the tongue better than Lux Noir London. That's because that's because you got a fat tongue. Lux no, yeah, I don't, I don't like this name. Anyway, um, th- I was like, this is Aquaria wore this. She did, and I, when I say, I don't think oh, did Aquaria wear this on. I don't think she wore it on Drag Race though. Oh no, she did. Uh-huh. It was the uh, the Inner Saboteur one. All right after I got eliminated, that's why I don't remember. It. But um, but yeah, I as soon as she came out there, I've seen Aquarius wear this multiple times. Like after Drag Race, I was like, oh, this is fully Aquarius look. Like this is again, it is a little different, but it is 
pretty it's similar also, to what a career It's also is. very much giving the same thing. It's like instead of one puff of sleeve, there's two. And she added a cape yeah. and some and, and garters. Yeah. But that being said, yeah. I mean, I, I, the amount of times I've seen Drag Race girls reference other stuff, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But good anyway, she looks fine. Yeah, this is a fine look. I mean, I, I, think, I think it's a good look. I think this looks good. I, I, I like this on her. She looks, her body looks great. I like the colors, especially on her skin. I, I think it's great. I don't think this is my favorite look. Of, even on a, I wasn't like, this is my favorite thing Aquara has ever worn. I'm like, oh, if I saw Aquara, I'd be like, oh, you look good. But I wouldn't be like, damn, this is amazing. I'd be like, oh, you look good. And, and I felt the same thing about London. I was like, oh, this looks, I mean, I, I think that actually, I would like every other look London's done. Of all the, the three looks we've seen this episode, this is third place for me. Of, of, me. of London's looks altogether? Of the, th- of the three looks we've seen from London, this episode, this one is in third place for her. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. <laughs> uh, that's um, what I'm saying. That's like, it's fine. Next was Aura Mayari. I'm realizing this bitch wore black in every look she did this episode. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's her thing. She's like a spooky... Maybe she's Spice. Maybe she's the Spice Girl. Um, is she? I, you know, Aura's... Oh, know wait, she, wait, wait. Someone commented, Lux's look is kind of a mix between Aquarius... And fucking Got Mick. Remember what Got Mick wore for the promo? With the big... Th- oh, yeah. That was amazing. That was, that was amazing. amazing. That She's was invoking amazing. these two queens, for sure. That was amazing. <laughs> She's definitely a student of Drag Race. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lux yeah, yeah, yeah. is definitely a student of Drag Race. She kind of reminds me of, like, like Dark Skin Naomi Smalls. Kind of the way she leans and, like... But not personality-wise. Yeah. Actually, no, she doesn't, because Manami doesn't bite her like that. So actually, I take it back. Um, I take it back. Never mind. I'm, I wish I never said it, and I'm going to quit drag. So, um, yeah, you know, Aura is uh, Aura's not having a great showing for me. Yeah, I agree. I don't think this is particular. What was it? What was the prompt for this? Like your best look, or like your signature? It was like, look? It's a quint- quintessential you. Yeah, signature look. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm not feeling Aura is runway. I'm. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, uh, why do you hate Aura? Ever since she said she, ever since Aura said she was hot, you hated her. Why do you hate her confidence? Why do you hate her confidence? You know, I don't know. It's just something about her. Does it? Does it? Does it hurt? Does it feel? Does it? Does it? Does it hit, hit a soft spot for you? Like this is not a bad look. Like this is not a bad look. I'm just like I don't think backtrack. Because, She's backtracking, Your Honor. She's maybe backtracking, because they've Your Honor. All been black, and even her entrance look was this. Even the same like kind of fabric, like this like What's shiny. Wrong you don't like uh, black people? I don't like black people. I don't like black outfits. I don't like black hair. I don't like black bones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like yeah, black. We heard it. Yeah. We all heard it. Uh, I don't like black ballpoint pens. I hate it. Um, so to see her in even in the same kind of fabric again, I just it's just not exciting. And it's the first episode I want to like re- be really excited about who you are. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't love it. Uh let's go into uh Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. What I don't like that she ran down the run. I I was like, I mean, part of me is like, maybe it's just too old school to me. I'm like, can y'all just run away? Like what, what? What? Why are you running? What's that? What's it like? It doesn't match the character. She's like the and skip. I'm, and this is like close up we have of like her face. I'm like this bitch is really just like wearing. I mean, she has a lash. Obviously, she's and when we say she's not wearing makeup, we Bob and I are drag queens. We know that it takes. We know she's wearing a good bit of foundation, highlight, all this stuff. That's not what we're saying. What we're saying with like the all together is just not a mm. lot of like things. To, what what happened? Would you say this would categorize as like big makeup and small makeup? I will say mm. this is small makeup. I would agree that this is small makeup. Because mm. okay, I wanted like, there's no such thing as big makeup and small makeup. You were that's like, that's not never what existed. I said. Yeah. What you were saying, you were saying that yeah. I, you were saying queens that do small makeup and how you were categorizing uh, small makeup. Like what Blair did. Like uh, I still to this day do not think what Blair does is small makeup. I wish I'm not, I, this is small makeup. Wow. Blair is not wearing small makeup. I'm not wearing small makeup. <laughs> Muy into that. Oh, uh, oh! Someone strike a chord. What's that? The G chord. Bing. <laughs> um, I like I this know. look, though. I don't know that I. Can, I don't know that I can see her in another tweet. Tweet look. I don't think I have it in me. We've seen three <laughs> tweet looks now. The promo look, or one of her promo looks was tweet. Then this look is tweet. Was it? Wait, was it? I feel like it's a lot of tweet. Tweet, right? Tweet. tweet. Sorry, I feel like it's a lot of that, right? <laughs> Yeah, I she in her in her entrance look, and uh, well, no, her entrance look was plaid. It wasn't tweed, but it was the same silhouette though, pretty much. Oh yeah, but but also like is the, you know you know when I when I mention pedestrian drag, this this is pedestrian. This is what I mean when I say pedestrian drag. Yeah, and I, maybe just not on Drag Race. Like if, if she were this in the meet and greet, I'd be like, okay, that's one thing. But on the main stage of Drag Race, 
I think it's a time and place, right? I think, but I'm, I'm interested to see what if what else comes along because her promo look was great. It wasn't, you I know. Agree. So like maybe you, coming. you've worn um, jeans before, but you would never do it on the main stage of Drag Race. I wouldn't. I don't I think know, I so. Wish, I wish you wouldn't do it at gigs either, because people pay to see a drag queen, not their fucking aunt. <laughs> anyway, moving on, bitch. It says a lot for the bitch wearing these has worn the same dress for two years in a row. But it's a nice dress, honey. <laughs> it's it's not. a nice dress, honey. <laughs> also, I want to point out, I wear more than that. I wear a lot of great dresses. There's a, if, and if you want to see them, there's an entire television show, three oh, we're seasons, here. honey. But, when, we, but when, when I pay my dollars, when I come see you at um, Booty Bob Comedy Club, I want to see the look. I don't want to see this bell dress I done seen on Instagram, TikTok, on, 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 in, 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 in ads. Okay, I want to see the doll. Honey. I don't want to see that. Also, I have four of them. <laughs> <laughs> have it in yellow lavender gold and pink mama it's red it's not pink i've seen it. it's red i have a pink one too so i have five and my red one my pink one <laughs> yeah i wore the pink one to the when i when i was the official voice of the streamies <laughs> oh where you God. watched it from home <laughs> my, well from i didn't watch home. it because you, because you didn't get an invite honey <laughs> let's move on to anitra who made her own look again extra points for monet she, she, oh yeah, she did make this. I think it's impressive. I've never seen this. So she made a black cat suit and hand sewed these things on because that's definitely not a fabric. I think that looks really cool, actually. Yeah, Anitra is clearly very. Anitra is incredible. She's she's gonna go far. Yeah, I agree. She looks great. I think this is a great look. I I'm I really, you know, I like Anitra. She, she's all right, that Anitra. She's all right, that Anitra. <laughs> I I heard my voice earlier doing that. Uh, Doing that bit, don't you ever? Anyway, let's move on to uh, Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Um, this look, this look is fine. I wish she didn't have that hem, the one right by her pussy, right? Yeah, I can see why that is distracting, and it is. Yeah, yeah. That's basically, what only... she did she made she made a cocktail dress and, and then, then added sewed. the bottom to it. Yeah, and I wish yeah. I really wish she didn't do that. Otherwise, I think this is great. This is she's a pageant queen. She she said she's done over a million pageants. So never she, won one. <laughs> never won one. So she, you know, this is she's showing us who she is, and I like this. But I just hate that hemline. She's like, she's like, she's kind of like, y'all, please stop asking me if I'm Patrick Queen because I do not. I'm not good at pageants. Please, <laughs> please stop asking me that. Please, y'all, please. Yeah, that's Poppy. Um. Okay. So this, this, this is a silhouette we're gonna get a lot. I see. Fucking hated. This is disgusting. I hate this dress i hate this outfit i'm so mad that she wore it and to tell us that this is her the skirt looks crazy that middle section looks crazy the mismatch bro she looks horrible no it's not great it's it's not a it's not a good look i don't like the wig i don't like the it's not a good look like which what? is which is sad because her, her talent was so good her so talent was good. really really good and this look it does not uh give that it just doesn't give that like in my opinion, one of the one of the better one of the best talents of the night. Like I, she she's in like she was in like like top four I, in, in talents. I think Anitra, Jax, um, her and um 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 uh Marsha were the, the best four. And then to come out with this feel, one, look, how would you feel if you were on the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race and Nicki Minaj mm -hmm. looked at you and said, "I hate, hate, <laughs> hate your hair and makeup." <laughs> I would be so hurt. I would honestly probably cry. I would be so hurt. Like, N Nicki Minaj didn't say hate once. She said, <laughs> I hate. She, she said, I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup. God. Yeah, that was tough. Damn. That was tough. That really I was mean, tough. I we, we've that. seen Nicki say way worse about, I mean, Cardi B got a knot on the forehead, honey. <laughs> uh, she, so <laughs> Heidi got off easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's um, go over to Miss Sasha Colby. Um, I this, think is nice, this, this, is the, this is the gown she wore, uh, the evening gown she wore the year that she won Miss um, Contenders. She looks good. Yeah, she looks good. Looks good. Yeah, it's a good look. Yeah. Uh, um, so she has foxtails too. The girls, pa pageant bitches love a foxtail, right? Save, save the whales. Save the turtles. What about the foxes? We don't talk about the foxes enough, I don't think. Yeah, I think that you you're right. Thank you for bringing thank you for bringing awareness to that one. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Selena Estates, who also made this look. I'm I'm impressed by I I I can't tell if you're trolling me when you say like she made it. I you don't you don't think that's she impressive? Make, no, she did she did make this. 
I didn't say it's not impressive. I, don't, I just don't think that you deserve extra points for making your own stuff. That's all I'm saying. Mm. I'm, just, I'm just letting you know that she made this look. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I think just, I don't like the bucket hat. Like, why does she put that fucking bucket hat I on her I think that's head? a hood from the jacket. Is it? I thought it was. I thought she was trying to do like a cute, like, you know, because bucket hats have come, come back and bucket hats are cute now again. Um, from the nineties, yeah. uh, from the early thousands, but I don't, I don't, I don't like the bucket hat of it all. I don't love this look. She's, I don't like, I don't love this look. It's just this pair of jeans. There are custom made <laughs> jeans. Um, but I don't. No, the answer is no. I don't love this look. I want a jean <laughs> suit for drag, actually. A jean suit, like a, a like a denim suit. Yeah. Like, like a, like a suit, like, I'm like a, like, like a suit, bitch. <laughs> you never seen a fucking suit in your life? <laughs> like, like tailor pants and like a jacket. No, nah, like, like <laughs> pants and a pair of shoes. A suit, bitch. <laughs> he has pants and a jacket or a skirt and a jacket. <laughs> Do you forget what a suit is in the last 20 minutes? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you now when you say suit do you mean you mean suit oh you did mean suit okay uh amethyst what is going on what is happening here i don't and, 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 know and, I, and, I, and, and amethyst i'm expecting you to tweet about this we need a response what's happening just even even the titty cups. Also, it looks like Aja's look. It does look Aja's look that she that she, uh, that she did the talent show in. No, yeah, is she is, yeah. she is she gonna is she gonna jump from their look? Yeah, this is this is <laughs> not a good look. I don't like any part of this look, to be honest. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this is not great. This is not. Also, what is, what does this tell us about who you are? Like. You may not have liked Selena's look, but Selena is, 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 has been consistent about her thing. Malaysia, consistent. Marsha, consistent. What does this tell? I don't. What does it tell us about Amethyst? I, I I don't think it tells us anything good. I think it tells us that she doesn't have great <laughs> taste. <laughs> to be honest, I hate to say it, but I think it says that she doesn't know a lot about how to dress herself. <laughs> She'll figure it out over time. Yeah. Uh, let's go with yeah. uh, Jax. Um, no. There are parts of this look, there's parts of this look that I liked. I like the shoes. And I see what she's trying to do. She's trying to do, I see what she's doing, but it's just not ter- it's not well executed and put together. Someone just said the amethyst wore dolls kill a fragile look. Yeah. Anyway. Um <laughs> But yeah, this what do you think about wearing what do you think about wearing uh off the rack runway or design or designer on the runway? On the runway, I don't, we've seen I a mean, few times with we've seen a few times where there's been designer on the runway, not a lot, but a yeah, few. Shay did a lot. Sh- Shay wore um, Maison <laughs> Valentino. She wore Christopher John Rogers. Like, I so think there did, was um, a what's what's her name? Uh, Carrie Colby also wore um, Versace. Versace on the runway. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, I don't I, I don't have a problem with it if it's if it's well done and it looks good. Like, I mean, I mean, I'm happy Shay gifted us with that fucking look. It's sort of my favorite looks in fucking Drag Race I've ever seen. So. I'm what do you it. think about my off the rack look that I wore um, when For I? For your robot? That's not off the rack. That's from a box. It was never <laughs> on a rack. It was literally hey, never you. on a rack. But it was on a rack in the warehouse they shipped it from you from. But I mean, when I wore that 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 black sequin jacket that you stole from me that I would like back one day. Uh, you're never getting that back. And um, actually, Pat and I were in storage the other day, and I was like, "Oh my god, there's a jacket." Yeah, run me my jacket. It was a loner. No. It's a you, loan you did not loan it to me. You gave it to me. Well, I'm, I'm about to come loan some stuff from you. Until, until, <laughs> like, I, get, you know, until still, I get what I need back. You still have my purple thing I wore to my All Stars for a premiere that or you season gave 10. to me. That you I, gave oh, to me. No, I did not. And then you, you, ooh, ooh, and that you just gave to Honey LeBron. When, when you start ooh, ooh, that shit is so <laughs> racist. You can't do that. <laughs> when the, you, you gave to Honey LeBron, that she was. And M- Monet, 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 fucking Monet vegan, to, vegan drag. <laughs> now Monet turns to M'Baku. Monet say, who? <laughs> <laughs> you know he's 6'5"? I was like, oh. That makes sense. <laughs> no, but you, you, you need to give me my jacket back. That's no, you're stop. not getting it back. 
You, I gave you that that purple's drippy thing, and you gave it to Honey LeBron. She all no, vegan drag queening. That's across. not true. You, you, you told me she had it. No, or I saw a picture with her in it. No, Honey LeBron wore the the black nude illusion outfit. That's not true, Monet. I called you. No, and asked not you, the black. No, it's what a black person about? nude illusion. You were thinking about when we were gonna let Alfredo borrow it. To do a uh, a uh, what's that bitch from um, Smash Brothers? Kamara? No, the ink, Inkling. Inkling. Um, he was gonna do an Inkling look, and then I was gonna mail it, but I never did. The dress is literally sitting in my closet. I can go grab it right now. I never uh, gave Honey LeBronx the dress that has a black nude illusion in it. Well, Honey LeBronx is problematic, so she probably would have worn. Yeah, so, so sit your goofy ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jax. Someone just commented that Jax looks five feet tall. Jax is five two or five three. Jax is very short, so I think she's gonna look short because she's short, y'all. But Rip. also, wearing thigh high boots is not gonna help you out, right? Like you need to do things to eat, to, to to elongate your body and having and having this like and clashing patterns work. But when you clash patterns again, that's shrinking yourself more because you're giving us like showing us where parts of your body are. So she's also like, I'm I'm you know I'm Jax is a fucking hood bitch. I'm like you are from Connecticut. I know. Like I have a I don't know Jax's life, but I have a sneaking suspicion that she's not from the mean streets of Connecticut. Although Connecticut Hartford is is bad about it. I am literally just assuming, but I I think that she was raised by white people in Connecticut, which makes me think that uh the people who adopted her are probably um some hood white niggas. I think you have to have money to adopt people. <laughs> I don't think they, I don't think they let broke people adopt people. So I was I was like I was like is she a hood? Is she a hood bitch? Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe she was adopted by like a family friend, who fucking knows. Um, maybe she did have a hood upbringing to you know, I don't want to assume her life. I don't know, but when she was saying hood, I was I was like I just don't know that she gives me like a like a hood bitch. I don't know that I get that from her. I know she lives in New York City now, but she's clearly from Connecticut cuz during the Great Connecticut Caucus she was one of the queens going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think about her look? This look is fine. I mean, it, lo- it looks pretty good. Uh, I-, I like the cat suit more than the jacket. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, everyone's favorite, Lucy LaDuca. She is, she is drag. Like, Lucy LaDuca yeah. is like drag. She's very, very drag. Yeah. She looks absolutely stunning. This, this, I love this Britney Spears nod. Her body is great. Um, I love her proportions. She has great proportions. Yeah. Like, because she could have little pancake pads, but she's like, no, no, no. I have big shoulders, so my hips have to match these construction workers' shoulders that I that I hurt, that I break sling lumber around with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's, let's, go, to, let's go into Robin Fierce. I didn't like the part that, that was like a Robin reveal. Fierce, like, I was like, you mean Mistress is next. Oh, sorry. Did I miss? Oh, Mistress. Oh, yeah. This is um, a this Mugler is like a, a Mugler inspired look. Uh, Naomi has one. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, who's the who's the, uh, uh, Megan Thee Stallion has one. Megan Thee Stallion might have no. She doesn't have the original. There's no way Megan Thee Stallion no. can fit the original. The, Megan Thee is five ten. There's no way. Well, actually, that's probably the height of a. Model. Oh yeah, models. Yeah, <laughs> but models don't have I, asses like that. Nineties models did not have asses like Megan Thee Stallion. But also in this in this outfit, Bob, you don't need this outfit. You, when you wear corsets like this, my I, I can wear anything of anyone else wears is my size because it goes over. It's not hugging your ass. Here's the thing: Mistress looks good, but you can't when you put it next to the real thing. It just looks cheap. But only what? when you put it next to the real thing. When you look at that Mugler and you look back over at Mistress and you look at the Mugler and then you look back at Mistress and then you look at the Mugler. And you look back. It's like what Cat Williams said. You think you're looking fierce in a charger until someone pulls up in a phantom. You know what I mean? <laughs> Someone said this. Yeah, I do think maybe if her hat was a little, uh, was a little bigger to, um, to proportionize her a bit more, I think it could have been great. But I think Mistress looks great. I think this is. She does look nod, good. I agree. This is a nod to her to her, to her Texas roots. She loves being um, from the Texas, and I think she looks great. I love. Ms. I'm Mistress half look. Texas, half Georgian. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, she she does look good though. So uh, I feel like okay, Robin Fierce. I didn't like the the first part of her look. Yeah, I the cat agree. suit was nicer than the. Also, so I feel like Jade Essence Hall ushered in this new wave of this this hairstyle. This hairstyle. I feel like every queen is doing this hairstyle now. It's just like the hair no, up, and is... there's like circles and loops and hoops in the hair. 
no, that's that. You think about that French, a UK queen started doing, or queens not in America started doing this. It was this like, this like, uh, I, and there's two people that do it. One person in Boston and one, and two people in the UK. They do this like swirly, swirly, swirly thing with the thing. That's the, that's the, Wig Chapel. Wig Chapel started, but then this, there's also this French guy that does it. I forget their name. And they're in the UK as well. They started right. doing that. I saw Violet with one years and years ago, but now it's like, it's, this, yeah. this is a massive drag trend. This is a huge mm-hmm. drag trend. Which is like these circles and loops and hoops and and braids that are put into loops and hoops in your hair. It's 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 like uh, I just see it. I see it a lot. Trend alert is what I'm saying. Yeah, I cannot believe Trend we're alert. still looking at outfits. This is crazy. <laughs> Let's go on to sugar. So the sugars. I think sugar looks great. I think this is a really dope take on Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I agree. Um, I think this is it's 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 it's, it's a really fashion forward uh, take on her, and I think she looks really, really, really good. Yeah, I agree. I think she looks really great. Is this quintessential sugar though? Especially because she looks it's like it's actually a little dark for sugar. Yeah, I would and agree. then yeah. spice is a little light for spice. I'm like, this is quintessential you. Yeah, you know what I mean. And 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 spice spice is doing um is doing uh. They're 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 doing like basically matching looks again. Like one is doing Belle and I one's can. doing um Ariel, which is their it's their thing. That's what they're going for. Um, these two definitely clearly have money. I mean, they they have a lot of TikTok followers, so they probably make like decent money from there in brand deals, you know. Yeah, and and it'd be, but I mean, again, like you 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 hit, you said it. Maybe they want to they want to play, keep, keep on doing this dichotomy thing, and they don't want to distance themselves too much from each other. But I'm like the same silhouette, the same narratives, like the same number. The same, like I mean, come on! And I, this is the first episode, and it, even though I like them, I like them. Is I feel like I'm gonna get tired of this very quickly. Who's going home first? Of the twins, sugar. Yeah, Down. for sure. Spice is eating sugar. sugar up. Definitely, yeah, sugar, yeah. Nice guys put, always finish last. Put a little, put a little, put a little uh, jalapeno sauce in the uh, molasses, <laughs> honey. Um, <laughs> And then we end up with a uh, bottom three. The bottom three is Lucy LaDuca, who is incredibly emotional on the main stage. Um, Amethyst and Monet's pick for uh, a, a front runner, Irene. Irene, Irene. They said we missed Irene. mistress. We, no, we didn't miss mistress. We talked about mistress. We, we did a whole talk about mistress's look and yeah. compared it to the Mugler look. Uh, um, uh, anyway. What's your name? Omar, Omar, you miss mistress. Uh, uh, Donald, you miss mistress. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we have uh, Irene, Lucy LaDuca, who is crying, <laughs> and then Amethyst. Lucy is safe, which I agree with. Yeah, I think Lucy should be safe because, again, over, over, I think, I think Lucy should be safe because at least Lucy, even though it wasn't great, Lucy did, uh, you know, she did her voice. Like, she used part of her body to make art. Uh, uh, the other bitch, Water, water Girl. Just get up there and try to make the glass of water. Like it didn't but according involve to you, anything. water's the best number in the world. But according to Monet Exchange, everyone should make a glass of water. <laughs> we should all be doing our water routines. Everyone, pitch your water ideas. <laughs> according to you. Uh, um, but, but yeah. But then um, Amethyst goes toe to toe with Irene, and um, I'm actually shocked that Irene went home because I felt like she just gave more to the show. Yeah, I me too. I'm like Irene would have given us a whole lot. I'm I'm very disappointed Irene went home. I'm very 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 upset and just as for Irene, she's she's one. She's now in the first out club and they've been hinting at maybe doing a first out season for a long time. So maybe don't he, do not listen if anyone if Randy Fenton if you're listening, don't entertain that. The fact that do you not, think they're listening to Oh yeah, they they listen to bitch. Oh, they listen all right so they Exactly. Shut this shit the, do I don't know why anyone thinks a first out season is fierce. That I, do you guys really think a first out season is like it? I and, and I, maybe I, maybe I'm being elitist because I blah, 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 but like a first out no Bob, no think about it last season last season do you know who the first out was? Who I don't remember. A diabetic diabetic was great in the whole rest of the season. Diabetic made it to the top four. Like a first out season, it would be good. Diabetic is is literally the case why a first out season would be a good season. Danji, I said what I said. <laughs> we have like what three of them? What Shangela, Vanjie, and Diabetic? Who else? I'm Elisa Summers. Elisa Summers. 
I mean, we don't know. Alisa does doesn't do much in Dragon. I mean, I don't know. I don't really follow them. But um, Pork Chop is a fucking mid continental winter por- winter when a Pork Chop is iconic. She just happens to go out first. Well, you know what? You enjoy you enjoy a first out season. Enjoy the first out All Stars. Have fun. Layla McQueen was Layla McQueen first out? No, she was not first out. Nasha Lopez was first out. Nasha, Nasha, the con- Nasha is great. Wow, Bob hates the season eight queens. Y'all heard it here first. Y'all. I don't. I do not. I do not want to see a first out season. I'm just. I'm just not interesting. I'm interested. <laughs> oh yeah, you're yeah. not interesting. Correct. You're not. I I don't want to see that. I'm not interested in seeing a first out season. <laughs> um, I would rather just see a regular season of Drag Race than seeing a first out All Stars. You know what I mean? Um, now, now the second out season, <laughs> hey, bitch. Honestly, you, name five second outs, Bob. Uh, Layla McQueen was second out. Okay, and I think you know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you could have had two under your belt. You could have said Layla and Dax. That was that would have been forty percent of the and way, I, girl. And I think, and I think you know the thing. Being first out is way more iconic than being second out. Being second out is like garbage. Like, like it is like no one will remember that you were second out. Being first out is iconic. Actually, being first out is truly iconic. It is very sad, but it is iconic. Being second out is like what? Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, Irene goes home. Uh, Amethyst stays to slay another week. And um, we will be with you. Um, and this is a two a week, but we will go- be going back to one a week. But also, just so you guys know, do not worry. Me and Monet will, will, will be. Um, so we're doing um, sibling ri- watchery on Mondays. But on Wednesdays, we're replacing sibling rivalry with another watch. We're going to be reviewing Real Friends of WeHo. So if you want to stick around, Monet and I will be reviewing every single episode in depth of Real Friends of WeHo. <laughs> <laughs> girl <laughs> girl drag race fans are upset bitch they're like <laughs> they were like so y'all taking away half an hour from drag race so we can watch these fucking faggots that don't even live in WeHo how dare y'all bitch people are mad mad I don't know why that tickled me so much are, are you gonna, gonna be watching going. the real friends of WeHo Bob I don't. I don't really like uh, reality shows that don't have competition in them. Got it. And everyone, but everyone kept being like, "Bobby, your show." I don't think we're here as a reality TV show. We're here as like a docu series. Like, I don't think. Yeah. Real, we're here as not a reality TV show. Yeah, yeah, it's a docu series. Um, I didn't. I didn't watch the Vegas show. I think I watched one episode, and I was like, I, tr- I really tried. When they, they, that clip of uh Derek Barry and his uh and his boyfriends uh going to sleep in the middle of in broad daylight, I was gagged. <laughs> I was like, this. I don't know if y'all saw it. When, when Derek Barry and his boyfriend went to sleep, it was, you can see the crack. It was daylight out. They were brushing teeth, laying down and going to bed at, at three o'clock in the afternoon in Vegas. I said, this is too much. This or is too much. Naomi being like, brush your hair. And that was iconic. <laughs> Naomi, brush bro. your hair. <laughs> brush your hair. <laughs> Naomi is so funny. All right. Well, we did it. Three hour, three days later, and seven uh, Red Bulls. We finally finished the first episode of all of, of Jack Race season six. Cheers, everyone. See you all out the review of uh, Real Friends of WeHo. Bye, everybody. Bye.